guys, welcome back to Medusa's Lair. If you're just tuning in, we are only in episode 2. And I'm gonna reverse my howling real quick, and then we are gonna move on to... I think it's called the Undead Bird, if I remember correctly. I don't have any notes or anything, I'm just going off of how I've played before. I am definitely not a professional. I just really love this game, so I think it'd be fun to watch myself do a playthrough later if I want to watch it. I don't know. But, uh, look at me. I'm human. Look at my plump little cheeks and my red ruby lips. Let's not ruin it by dying. <laughs> Shield up. Target. And kill this butthead. Oh, I love backstabs. I recommend getting good at them because they're just so fun. And you get a bonus of souls. Uh, every backstab you get, you get a little bit extra because it's a critical kill. So it's pretty cool. You need to lure him out if you want to kill him before going up because the guy who's throwing firebombs at you will totally come down and hit you. As you can see, I tried for a backstab. But you have to be kind of, it's kind of finicky sometimes. You have to be, you have to be perfect. Right behind him. Kill this turkey. Oh, you jumped at me, you crazy. Oh my god, don't die. Pillage their bodies. Get their stuff. Attack. My heavy attack is thrust. thrust. As most of the other guys do on the video, I will as well. Yes. Oh, go get this first. Ooh, a goodie. Shield up, because there's an angry little sewer rat back here. Kill him, get the goodie. End my forward. Darkness. Shield up. The undead. He's a dick. Boop. I don't think there's anything in this room. He just hides in here. That's it in here. What's somebody got to say? Here! No, duh. There's a fog. here there's a little body go get the goodies and then run up the stairs for the coolest intro of a character ah! that's mr dragonhead he's not very nice you'll meet him later you would not like him. Keep your shield up because there is an archer and he's a butthead. Ooh, look at this guy thinking he can take me on. Come here. Come here. Come get me. Mm, Harry, you. Awesome. Alright, let's take this guy out. Or at least get out of his shot range. Don't kill him because he's annoying. I love those sounds. 
sounds they make. What the hell is that? Do not touch that. I don't know what that is. If it's there, don't touch it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it does. And I'm not strong enough to be able to handle what it is. So. <laughs> I'm not strong enough for that yet. I like to lure these guys out because I parry them. Break that. Come here. Come here. Oh, now I'm going to take you on. Get all up in their business and parry. Oops, I missed. He thinks he can sneak up on you. But now that you know, you're gonna end it. I would like to mention. Oh, hold on. There's a merchant right here. You can talk to him. Well, now, you seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> He's a little crazy. But you do want to buy some stuff from him. Um, I usually buy the bottomless box first. Just because it's handy for storing stuff. But the residence key is also important, so you have to come back and get that. Um, you can buy new weapons here if you don't like the one you have. Uh, you can buy arrows and armor and all kinds of goodies, really. Um, for now, that's all I'm going to buy from him. Thank you kindly. <laughs> I'm going to take a slurpy slurp. We're going to go back here. Oh, I was trying to say, I think it is worth if you feel strong enough at some point in the game and like you're not dying as much. I think it's totally worth it to become human. Because you get extra magic find. Or not magic find, but item find. So you'll have a better chance of finding atoms. Or I guess, maybe not necessarily being human, but having humanity on you. So most of the time, if you are human, or sometimes you'll not be human, it kind of just depends. Sometimes you'll get lucky enough to draw a humanity from an enemy you kill. If you are lucky enough to do that, then, Try not to lose your body because it's going to be really helpful with item finds. You'll have a higher percent of item find. As you saw, we jump across, come over here, and get the light crossbow and some bolts. Very helpful. You saw that glow um, a minute ago. Don't worry about it yet. We are not going over there yet. We will see. Let's go here. Drop down. Pick this up. Now, some sneakies. They think they're so sneaky. You can see them. They think they are so clever. We're going to show them that they're not clever. Not even a little bit. Ooh, hang on. They might be clever. Okay, they're not so clever. Sometimes when I restart, I can forget how weak I am. And I go in, guns blazing. It's actually not smart. Um, just so you know. But now, these ones, you can totes knock off. I totally forgot about him. Ugh. Gosh. 
forgot about him, and I panicked. The worst thing you can do, actually, in this game is panic. I want you to know that now. As soon as you panic, you start doing stupid stuff. And as soon as you start doing stupid stuff, you take risks, and those risks cost you your life. Climby climb. Oh shoot, I missed that one. We'll go get it in a second. Come over here. Some more humanities. Come back here. Usually you would jump off uh, right here and just go back normal, but I need to go back down because I forgot to get that item. And I don't remember what the item is, so I need to go check. Because I want it. I want it all. Come back here. Oh, sorry. Too far. There's a little hidden doorway right there. Come up it. Come over here. And slap that booty. Turn around. <laughs> and. Beep. And now we will leave. Back the way we came, and I'll show you where the second bonfire is. In hindsight, I probably should have showed you first because you're probably not as confident in your abilities yet if this is your first playthrough. If it's not, then great. You pretty much know what you're doing. You know where it is, but if, you, if it is your first, then I would be glad to show you where to go rest for the evening. We'll run there. Run. Okay. Now, like I said before, every time you rest, you will respawn the enemies. Just lighting the bonfire does not do that. If you look out here, they're still dead. But, you rest at it, they are back. I will also say just lighting it is also not enough. Um, if you die, you will not return to the one you just lit. You will return to the last one you rested at. Just something to note. As you can see, I'm putting my humanity in my bottomless box just because I don't like having it on me. I don't like accidentally using it. I only use them for intentional purposes. And right now, I don't need one. So, if you run, it's gonna alert them. If you walk, you can walk real slow and uh, potentially sneak up on it. Oh, you thought you was something. You ain't nothing. I almost had a back step. Dang. Alright. Anyways. We're gonna run. But then you need to go turn around and go right back to where you came from. This just lures someone out. And then that way you don't have a whole room attaching you, because that's never fun. I don't care how experienced you are. It's never fun having an entire room attaching you. I really, yeah. You know what, I'm terrified, but I'm gonna press it. I'm terrified, but we're gonna press it. Okay. Oh shh, dragon spirit disappeared? He was gonna invade? Oh my god. Oh, that's so scary. Thank goodness he disappeared. Woo! Lucky me. Dragon spirit was gonna invade. Oh my god, that would have been so bad. <laughs> so now we know what that symbol will do. And uh, I don't know that you want to do that yet. I don't want to do that at this point. I want to be stronger. Wow! 
Take it off. I sound when I've drank too much. I'm just kidding, I don't drink. Because <laughs> I don't want to sound like that. Yeah, I don't want to sound like that. So I don't drink really. I guess it's not that I don't drink, I just don't drink hardly ever. Hardly ever. And here. A little bit further in. This is turd that's about to come after. Turd don't want to come? Fine, screw turd. But we'll kill you first. There's turd. Bye, turd. Ooh, what'd you try? Oh, a helm. Ooh, see, you see my, my circle up in the um, left corner by my endurance and human uh, life it has a one now it's because when I killed him I was lucky enough to get a soul like a, a humanity so now I have one humanity to my name the trouble with this way is that oh, oh my god move and walls the trouble with the humanity on you like this is that if you die and you don't get your body back in time, you lose that humanity. If you get your body back in time, you'll still have it. You won't be human, but you will still have that one. And like I was saying earlier for Matt, like item finds, that's awesome. It's very helpful. There's three guys up here. One of them throws fire bombs. He's a real prick. It's the one strutting at you. Like, oh, I guess I'll do my job, you know. I'll go after you. He's a real jerk. See? Real jerk. Ooh, shoot! Gotcha. Good night. Okay. Throwing fire bombs at me? Oh, those turds. Open this key. You either need the residence key if you decided not to get the master key, or the master key will open it. Master key's kind of awesome. Come back here, there's a treasure chest. Gold pine resin. I think the gold pine resin either does, I think it does lightning damage for you. You can apply it to a sword or something. And it'll do damage for you. Right up here, keep your shield up. There's a turd up here. As you can see, everybody's a turd. Everyone's a turd. Oh, hi. I can't see. Where are we? Okay, hang on. Chill. Okay. Did he go in there? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, okay. Let him come out. Okay, now get all up in his face. What the hell? In order to get these parries, you can you can always parry, but in order to get the critical kill right after, you do have to immediately press your right button. Otherwise, you just parry him, and then he will regain his balance and kill you. And then your parry would have been pointless. Try not to, try not to do that. Come here, ooh, ooh, come here, come. Oop, I missed. Ooh, I need a drink. Look, look. Before you go over there, I'm gonna go kill these guys because they got some loot up there. And if you're lucky, I'll drop you some fire bombs. Walk. You can kill one before they all start throwing bombs at you. Oof, see like that. Oof, the trick is to be quick with your fight. So you can get a firebomb sometimes, just, just one. 
But you have to be quick with those guys. Those turkeys suck. So fast. Throw bombs at you. Alright. We're gonna go up here. And you're gonna have a bad time. Nothing other than that. You're gonna have a bad time. Back up. Glug glug. You cannot avoid it. That's why I did not try to run away. You just cannot avoid it. It's something you can't avoid. It's always gonna happen, unfortunately. So you kill him after. But that is the only time he's gonna throw that at you. He cannot come back and throw it at you again. It's just this once. Um. This is definitely not my first playthrough. I have killed this guy that I'm about to show you more than once, but it still always gives me anxiety because I kind of cheese it, and the cheese can be kind of dangerous. So you can decide if you want to do it or not. I'm going to do it. This is your first Black Knight, and he sucks. I hate him. I hate all Black Knights truth. We're gonna lure him by shooting him in the back because we're weak. Pathetic little creature. Just close enough slowly to lock on. Shoot him. Run away. Run, run as fast as you can. Do not stop. Do not turn around to see if he's coming. He's coming. I promise. Drop. Right here. Oh, I died. See that? It's dangerous because you can fall and die. <laughs> the goal of it is to land on that ledge. And by landing on that ledge, you will hold your shield up and he will jump down and die as he comes to get you. So let's see if we can do it again. I'm just gonna kill everybody because obviously I don't want turkeys to come after me. You'll notice I have some really weird terminology. Um, you can blame my husband for that. He's funny. Um, so everybody is a different thing. Nothing's gonna be the same. I'm very inconsistent with my words. <laughs> I did not intend to do that. Okay. Let's go kill everybody. Do, 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 do. Kill everyone. Good night. Oh, you're still alive. That's right. I'm still weak. Woo. Thanks. heavy strike you because this narrow hallway will get me hit if I don't. All right, so once you've opened this door that we use the master key or residence key for, you just sprint through past those suckers even as they strike at you, they will miss. Then turn around and fight them one by one. This guy will even shut you in there with him because he thinks he's clever, but he's not. He just sealed his death. Somebody usually opens it, and you'll kill that guy. Now, Firebomb Buddy very rarely ever even comes in here, so you do have to kind of roughly, very quickly run around and kill him. He's too scared to come in there. He'd rather hide behind his firebombs. Not me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or one little twerp. Oh yeah. These guys are the guys to practice your parrying on because even if they hit you, it's not a total death sentence. They are who you should practice with. Do not practice on a black knight. 
I mean, granted, you will want to practice on them because they're completely different. But you see how he just hit me because I failed? It didn't kill me. It wasn't really that bad. So, I recommend practicing on them. Because they're not that bad. Oftentimes, I will not recommend you um, parry on stairs. If you parry on stairs, sometimes it doesn't work. Shoot. Okay, so this is what was supposed to happen. I was supposed to land right there. Like that. Where is my body? Hmm? Where is my body? Oh, chief alt. Where is my body, huh? Guess we're finding out. Plug. Where did my body walk? Do not run. If you have not killed the Black Knight, do not run right here. You need to be awful quiet. I mean it. Get away when you're ready. Okay. Make sure he's not coming after me. Oh, thank God. Oh! So I got my body back. We're gonna try to kill him again. You ready for this? Let's see if we can kill him. If we can, we'll end that on a good note. If we cannot, Dude, my heart is pounding right now. You see, we want to kill him. First of all, he gives us great souls. He doesn't respond. And he's protecting something. Run away! Oh my god! Run here! And stand here like this. He will jump. And you want him to jump. Because he falls to his death. Oh. And that's how you choose the first Black Knight. Woo. Still, my heart rate gets up. Oh my god. That shit scares me. And now you'll go and get the goodie. This will be your very first ring of the game. Unless you don't want to mess with him, then it might not be your first ring. But usually that's your first ring. It is the ring, blue tear stone ring. It boosts your defense while your health is low. I just put it on because it's better than wearing nothing. Granted, you will not probably want to use this once you get better rings. It's really not. It's just the very beginning of the game ring. This door you can open with the master key. But if you thought the Black Knight was hard and we cheesed him, or if you tried it without cheesing him and you thought he was hard, you don't want to open that door yet. Because what's behind it is a strong, strong feller. Break that. Follow this little guy. You need to kill him before he disappears. He gives you goodies. See? Gives you goodies. So, those are crystal lizards. There are Hansel throughout the game. And every single one, it's worth it. You want it. If you do not kill it, it gets away. All you have to do is immediately quit the game, go back, start the game. You'll start right where you ended. Everybody will still be dead except for him. He will respawn, and you will have another chance to kill him. You just keep doing that until you get a good hit and kill the little lizard. That way you can get the goodies. Right now, we're gonna go level up. I got souls. Totalities. Oh, cancel. 
endurance, some dexterity, some strength, and let's do some more vitality. Awesome. I think that will wrap up this episode. Next, when we come back, we are going to fight the second boss technically, but the first real boss since you escaped the asylum. This guy was terrifying my first time, so I can't wait. See you but next time at Medusa's Lair. Bye!